Our story starts in the South American nation of Chile. Located in the southwestern coast of the continent, it is a long slender country of over 4,300 kilometers, bordering the Pacific Ocean and the Andes mountain range. Known for its impeccable wine production, modern metropolitan cities, and due to its location, significant natural beauty. From the southern ice fields of Patagonia to the world's driest desert, the Atacama. With all these places of natural wonder, it's not surprising that environmental consciousness would be at the forefront of Chile's policies and concern. As the world's largest producer of copper, there was an opportunity in Chile to implement an environmentally cleaner solution. This became an innovation for the logistics of transporting concentrates at large quantities throughout the country. Copper is ductile and a great conductor. It is used for many necessary things in today's modern society. From electric wiring in appliances and computing, to conductive ribbons in solar panels, used in the global race toward transitioning to clean, renewable energy sources. Basically anything that utilizes electricity. The world runs on copper. As necessary as copper is in today's world, it like most things doesn't come without a cost to the environment. And that's where this solution comes into the picture. A way of reducing dust pollution generated by the transport and loading of goods while increasing productivity and yield, which is a win-win for the environment, local communities and the companies implementing the solution itself. This solution can be used for many types of bulk commodities and Chile was the first to implement it on such a large scale. ISG, an Australian-based company, identified the need for this type of solution in Chile back in 2014. This is their story. I first travelled to Chile in 2014 to talk to the port of Angamos regarding the Pit the Ship solution. They were very interested in it and within six months they had implemented the solution for their end customer Cadelco. It's now 10 years since that and that's a great milestone for them because 90% of the ports in Chile and 90% of the mining companies have now benchmarked what they did and are using the solution. The process of the solution is quite simple. Concentrates in bulk commodities are loaded into hermetically sealed transport containers and stored portside within these containers. This prevents any unwanted leakage of dust into the air or ocean. As an added benefit, it maximizes the yield of concentrates for the supplier, ensuring nothing is lost in the transport or transitioning processes. Located 70 kilometers north of the city of Antofagasta, the ports of Engamos and Mejiones work in harmony with the local fishing community. This is in part made possible by the high environmental standards adhered to by these ports, which both utilize the containerized bulk handling solution. of Ngamos was the first port to implement this solution within Chile back in 2014. This will revolutionize dry bulk handling globally, pushing the threshold of possibilities to a new level. In the nearby city of Antofagasta, the port of ATI was an early implementer of the solution back in 2016, dealing with bulk cargo coming across the border from Bolivia, proving a solution such as this can be implemented between nations. The 
Port of Mejiones started using the solution for BHP back in 2019. The possibility of cleaning up port and key sides worldwide by keeping bulk goods containerized would be a big win for the air we breathe and the oceans we fish from, for both communities and marine life alike. The port town of Valparaiso is one of the oldest cities in the Americas, with its colonized settlement going back to 1536. It was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2003, and along with the nearby resort town of Viña del Mar, it is a popular destination for both domestic and international tourists. With the area known for its gold and picturesque beaches that meet with World Heritage historical sites, its importance on keeping a clean image cannot be overstated. The port of Valparaiso has realized that importance and has recently implemented the usage of the containerized bulk handling solution in its centrally located port. The results certainly benefit the local communities that depend on a clean image for the local tourism that supports the region. Following suit, the latest port to implement this solution is the nearby port of San Antonio, the busiest port not just in Chile, but the western South American coastline. Also a community that depends on a healthy marine environment for the livelihood of its fishing industry. This solution is a huge step in the right direction, not only when it comes to looking after the environment and the people within the community, but also the health of the workers who are present on site on a daily basis. To this day, there are places around the world where concentrates are stored on the quayside with the potential to flow into the atmosphere and the water and cause pollution. Using this solution with sealed containers makes it uh, almost impossible for uh, any concentrates to uh, leak into the atmosphere. If you look at Chile, they have used this solution and won several environmental awards. This is an opportunity for other places around the world to benchmark what Chile has done and uh, make an environmental impact on the planet. On the 22nd of September 2022, Chile incorporated new laws, which stipulate the transportation of mineral concentrates must always be carried out using hermetic dustproof means. Chile is committed to cleaning up the bulk logistics industry in port sites nationwide, exercising some of the highest environmental standards in the world. The implementation of this solution as a standard practice elsewhere in the world would be a huge win for port workers, communities and the environment.